guess I'm having a, a problem with, uh, I'm seeing they have a carbon that I can't account for. Okay. And yeah, let's not skip any steps. Let's actually draw the intermediate from this step. So let's draw what we would get when we treat this with this. I said we could leave that out, but what are you going to get when you put these two things together? Now, after this, this nitrogen started neutral. Mm -hmm. So after it attacks, it'll have a positive charge. Um, if possible, it would like to get rid of the positive charge mm -hmm. if it can deprotonate. Well, can it deprotonate? Yes, this nitrogen can deprotonate. So this is not the case where we end up with the positive charge. Mm -hmm. That's going to be later on down the road. And maybe we should keep drawing all the intermediates here because that's easy to get confused about. This is just that normal category four attack where a secondary amine attacks an aldehyde or a ketone, so we just get an enamine. Oh, okay. This is not going to end up with a positive charge because it can deprotonate. So that's now we have to come up with another fragment to attach here. Well, it's good that you put in these numbers in this squiggle, so that should help us a lot here. So we've got our number three, our number four, our five. I'm going to try to draw this in the same orientation that it has in the product, just so I get less confused. Now, in the product, the number three is attached to the number two. So we have to have come up with something for the number three to be attached to in the starting material. Just the something that would make this electrophilic. Uh, what could I put here that would make this electrophilic? Uh, chlorine. That's right. Just the chlorine. So the this thing is where I was getting confused. Right. This one step here was the step that was messing you up. What should we put here? So again, if it's not attached to the number two in the starting material, well, we can have it attached to whatever we want. All right. Well, something that would make it useful is a good leading group. So this is the next reagent that we need to add. Let's show the mechanism for the next step. Let's show the mechanism for the next step. The mechanism for the reaction between these two. there's still something a little bit left out. Now remember the whole reason this is a nucleophile is because this lone pair is kicking down. So it's a really good habit to put that in. Otherwise it's going to be hard to draw the intermediate correctly. numbers here really help us to make sure that we're not adding or dropping carbons. So we want to keep putting numbers in each picture. It would be very easy here to add or drop carbons without the numbers. Now the nitrogen has a positive charge because now it has no protons it can lose. So I think early on you kind of got this stage confused with this stage over here. After the first attack, the nitrogen can deprotonate, so it's still neutral. But after the second attack, so to speak, then it can't deprotonate anymore, so then it's got the positive charge. Now we've formed that key bond that we were trying to form all along between the number two and the number three. So what would be our last step? The addition of uh, hydrochloric and water. Right. And we haven't really talked about the mechanism for that too much, so we'll just go straight from here to here. We know that that simply blasts off this nitrogen and puts this oxygen on. So that would complete our synthesis. So again, I guess there was three steps in the synthesis. Adding the secondary amine, then adding this fragment, and then this step over here. 
All right, well, we did a lot of things right there. The fifth step that gave me trouble was this little step here. So again, I think the numbers really help us. And since this is a synthesis, we can attach the number three to whatever we like in the starting materials. Notice, what's the purpose of this carbonyl here? Just to confuse us. Mm -hmm. This carbonyl didn't play any role in the entire reaction. It was just there to distract and confuse us. What we care about is the number three carbon, not the number four carbon. Notice that this, we didn't do an addition elimination here. Well, what type of mechanism did we do here? Just normal SN2. We just did a normal SN2 because we didn't want to attack the carbonyl carbon. We wanted to attack a normal alkane carbon. So this was just here to distract us. And the numbers really help us to keep focused on who we're attaching, right. who we're attacking, and who we're not. same techniques that we're just using, numbers and squiggles and stuff, to try to come up with a synthesis here. Notice that you put a number five over here. Oops. However, this is not a carbon. That's correct. Sometimes it's useful to number oxygens too, but I don't think that would be necessary for this problem. That's just going to confuse us and make us think there's not a carbon here. Do you want me to draw the intermediates? Or? Yeah, let's do, let's do that. We know we have to start with this because they said this is a phenol. Good start. Yeah, let's draw the intermediate from that step. What type of functional group is this? Anamine. Yeah, what type of anamine? It's a secondary. Right. Group, so category four. Good. Now, how many bonds does a neutral nitrogen have? Three bonds. So we got to put this hydrogen in here. As you were mentioning earlier, we can't treat the hydrogen on the nitrogen oh, like oh, a hidden okay. hydrogen. That's important to put that in there. Okay. But otherwise, this is the right reagent. And then we can show the intermediate from that step. Another point is that we should also show the catalyst. That attack is going to be acid or base catalyzed. So we'll show an acid catalyst. And then we can show the intermediate. That's the right intermediate. Good. We can keep putting in our numbers. You remember that this is category four, so even though we're not doing the mechanism, this is what it's going to look like. And you can see we really needed this hydrogen over here. After it attacks, to get rid of the positive charge, it depropanates, and now it doesn't have the hydrogen anymore, because now the carbon bonds form free bonds. Now we need to add something to this. Good, and you showed the mechanism. Good. Good, so let's show the intermediate from that. 